All right, so here is the proof um, of the this this. Uh, okay, so so. Uh, all right, so we're, here's what we're proving. Okay, that these two topologies are equivalent. Okay, so proof. Oh, that's not a good pen. All right, so um, so fix uh, some some open set. So 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 fix some op uh, some some ball in this metric topology. All right. All right. So the idea. Uh, so we're going to show that um, that there's there's one of these compact opens contained in here, right? And so the trick is to use uh, k and v. So the op the compact open uh, the, the compact subset of X and uh, uh, and uh, v the uh, open set of Y uh, the metric space to to uh, to tie every um, a G in some MKV uh, to F. So we're going to make it really close so that we're going to make these functions really close to each other. Okay? So, <coughs> so what we're going to do is um, we're going to use, it, it, we're gonna use the, the, uh, the compact Hausdorff hypothesis um, uh, in, in, in particular um, so we're, we're going to use the x's. Uh, so, so one thing we're going to do is we're going to do kind of like an epsilon delta thing, but because uh, we don't have epsilon deltas, we're going to use the compactness in, instead. Uh, so what we can do is 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 what we can do is we can take x. So here's x, and then we're going to cover x by a bunch of um, of open sets, a finite cover. All right, so I'm just going to draw my cover here. So we cover. Uh, so so uh, so for all, so what we have is for all epsilon greater than zero. So there exists a cover, a finite cover. Uh, of pre-compact sets. Um, such that. So we're going to use some sort of uniform continuity. Um, so for all x x prime uh, in U i, right? Um, oh, we'll do it like this: such that if x and x prime are in U i for some i, this implies that the distance between f of x and f of x prime is less than epsilon. So we're using this compactness here to um, to constrain uh, the distance in the image. All right. Uh, in particular, um, uh, we're going to take k. So what we'll do is we'll take k. K to be u i bar of minimum diameter of uh, such with such that the diameter. Of f of k is minimal. So, uh, what's the diameter? Uh, so, the diameter is the maximum distance between two points in in this set. And so since it's in a metric space, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, and, and we're going to make this so that this thing here, uh, in, in in particular, uh, this this shows uh, so this this shows that this diameter here. So by this choice here, this is going to be less than epsilon. And now we can we can move epsilon to be whatever we want. And maybe we're going to call this epsilon one because we're going to have another epsilon that comes in later. Okay. Um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, uh, v. Okay. So now we're going to take take v. V to be um, the union. 
Okay, where, and I'll move this up a little bit. So it's going to be the union of x's and k's. Of, and now we're going to take b, and we're going to take another epsilon, epsilon 2, y of f of x. Okay, so we're going to take everything in the image, and then we're going to take small balls around that, uh, everything in the image. So here, uh, here's the, the picture, right? So um, uh, in y, so we have some image. So this is like f of k. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, cover this by, uh, I mean, and this is maybe continuously varying like so, but these are small balls, so this is all contained in Y. And so these are s small, uh, around Y in uh, F of K. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, Okay, so, so V is in here. Uh, and then, uh, so, so now, now we just kind of like write down what, what the definitions are, okay? And um, we're going to get uh, some triangle inequality. In particular, we're, we're going to get something that we're going to later plug into a triangle inequality, okay? So here, uh, we'll, just write, we'll just break this down. So what does it mean for G to be in MKV? Well, this is if and only if, well, G of K this is contained in V, and this is if and only if G of X, this is in the union over X primes in K of B epsilon 2 uh, Y of F of X prime, okay? And this is if and only if, right, for all X in K, right, now we're going to say that there exists some X prime in K such that it's in this ball. Okay, so that the, the distance between in, in the y metric uh, of f of x prime uh, and g of x is less than epsilon 2. Okay, and this epsilon 2 could be chosen to be whatever we want. And so now we're, we're just going to write down, uh, what, what, so what do we need to show, right? We want to show that this mkv so we want, again, just as a reminder, we want this MKV uh, to be contained in BR of F. And this thing, we want this thing to contain F. Okay? So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take some G in here. So if, if G is in here, right? What we need to do is we need to estimate the distance between, in, in, so this is the h distance, right? Uh, the, the, the distance between, so that this is the, the Homset distance. We need to estimate the distance between g and f. So, so what we'll do is we take the distance. And so uh, here, uh, and then we'll take g of x. And we want this to be uniformly bounded in x because the supremum of this is what we want. And so this is less than or equal to, and now we're going to do the triangle inequality. And now we're going to introduce this x prime. Plus, uh, now we have f of x prime. Sorry, f of x prime, g of x. OK, and then this is less than or equal to epsilon 1 plus epsilon 2. right? And this is less than, th th these can be chosen to be less than r. Okay, and uh, that's that's the proof. So we, th this implies that uh, that G uh, is in uh, this thing. So we showed that it's a subset, and uh, and then the, the you know this distance, the maximum distance between F and F is zero. Oh. And so that that proves uh, one direction, right? So we proved that the the compact open topology. So for every uh, metric open, metric ball, uh, there in, in every point, uh, well, in every point in the metric ball, um, there exists a compact open uh, containing that point. Okay, and without loss of generality, you can assume the point is the center by moving to another ball. Okay, so now let's prove the converse.
Okay, so we're going to show that um, in these uh, topological ball, in the, these uh, compact open open sets, that um, that they they have a metric open uh, contained inside of them. Okay, so what we're going to do is is we we we're going to take uh, f in M K U or M K V. Okay, and so what we want to do is we we, we want um, uh, we want to show that there's a metric ball around F that's contained in the that, that's contained completely contained in the set. Okay, and so the idea here is is the following. So we know that um, okay. So we take this. So we know. know that f of k is a subset of v. Okay? And so let's kind of draw this. Here's v. Okay? And then here's a k. Okay? And one thing we can do is we can take a point in here and then we can just kind of like see what the max if we take a point in here, this is a f of x. Okay? And we can just kind of look at the maximum radius here. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll define uh, this function here. So this is this is r of x. Okay, and so uh, r of x is going to be. Okay, it's going to be the supremum of all of the radius uh, of these radii, where um, here in y that this thing is contained in v. Okay. So this is the the biggest um, so this is the the biggest radius that is still in V. Okay, this thing exists. All right. So um, so I'm going to use some I'm going to claim some things. Okay. So the claims are the following. So my claims are the following. Uh, one is that R of X is continuous. Two, uh, it's always positive. Okay, and the note that I wrote to myself was that U minus K is open. And I'm not going to check these very carefully, um, uh, so I'm just going to assume them. And then uh, the other thing is that the, the maximum and minimum are achieved. Are achieved. Okay, and this follows from compactness and non-zeroness. I know you guys believe that the maximum exists, but since this is positive, right? Then you can take one over it and then take the maximum of that, and that'll be the minimum. All right? So the minimum also exists. All right. So if we can arrange, um, so, so, so the idea now is that if we can arrange this g of x, right? If, if we can arrange that, so that g of x is always in here. So if we can arrange. Uh, that uh, uh, so the distance here between uh, uh, f of x and g of x is less than r of x. Well, this implies that um, uh, uh, g of k will be contained will be also contained in v. Which which is uh, the same thing as being saying that G is an element of M uh, KV. Okay, and so uh, what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna have some some ball condition. Okay, and so uh, so here we'll, we'll say we're gonna take R min to be the minimum, uh, the minimum of all these things. So the minimum uh, radius. Okay, so since this minimum is achieved, okay, and so my claim is that um, 
so my claim, so the, the claim that we want to show is that if we do this in, uh, so the claim is that uh, B in this topology, in the metric topology, if I take the minimal radius around F, right, uh, for G in here um, implies uh, G is an element of uh, MKV. All right, and so F is in here, and uh, we're just showing that that every that this this is a subset of this. All right, so that's what we want to show. All right, so um, and and I think that this is uh, straightforward, right? So uh, so let me write down what I have here. So uh, so here. So we have for every x and k, uh, we have that this distance function here. So this is less than r min. Okay, so by uh, by definition, that's that's what this means. All right, um, all right. So this implies, and, then, and I guess if we wanted to, we can even make this smaller and subtract a little epsilon. Okay, but uh, okay, this implies. What does this imply? Well, this implies that uh, so for all x and k. Uh, g of x is a, is an element of b y r min uh, f of x, so that it's contained in here. Uh, this is contained in b y r x f of x, and this is contained in v. All right. So what we showed is so so we showed that g k so this, this whole thing here is showing that GK is contained in V. All right, and that's, that's uh, the end of the proof of this. All right, so now I'm going to go do some things with the, the that concludes this, this portion of the, the part where we were showing that the, um, uh, that the metric topology, uh, that this, this metric topology and, um, uh, the compact open topology are the same in this example.